Hello guys and girls, welcome to another Try Hard Diablo 3 guide. Today we're going to be covering Acts 1 through 4 in the Inferno Difficulty Hotspots. Uh, it's going to show you how to get the most loot per hour and the most elite packs per hour. We're going to start with Act 1 today. We're going to go to Quest 9 and it's going to be the Cursed Hold is where you want to start it. So you want to go over to the waypoint and the first place you want to head over to is the Festering Woods. This contains guaranteed 2 to 4 elite packs uh, within about, I'd say about uh, five to, to seven minutes depending on how good or bad your gear is maybe five to ten minutes so you want to work your way over to the left of the waypoint in this area should be an area called the warriors rest normally around warriors rest there could be a blue pack around the the crypt itself or the the area so uh, find that kill it head on inside and then once inside there's guaranteed an elite pack every single time so head on in kill that head out. I'd recommend town portaling out, uh, as you'll see me do in a sec. Um, and then, obviously, because that'll kind of bring you straight back to the waypoint, which saves a bit of running time. A bit of efficiency, I suppose. Uh, so once you head through town, the next waypoint you want to head through is the same one, Festering Woods, and you want to go right of the waypoint and fight your way over there. Sometimes there's an elite pack on this side as well, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, you want to head inside, I think it's called the Defiled Crypt, what's it called? Crypt of the Ancients. So once inside Crypt of the Ancients, there's guaranteed Elite Pack in there. Um, I wouldn't waypoint out of this one because you want to explore the area outside a little bit. Um, so once that's down, you head outside. Uh, guaranteed outside, there's... Well, I don't say guaranteed anymore. I think after patch 1.03, it's not guaranteed, but if you head down south, there's a an event which spawns a, a, a yellow or blue group but it, it looks like it's not guaranteed anymore it might just be a chance to be there I think I've seen it twice out of four runs now so it's uh don't know why they changed that I guess it's because there's three guaranteed rares in this area which is kind of too much so I'd say have a look around the festering woods if if you want there's usually uh two two or three elite packs uh other than that next waypoint you want to go through is Leork's Manor the guaranteed one elite pack through here in Leorx Manor itself, uh, there can be one elite pack. I got lucky in this game and found it. And then outside of Leorx Manor, there's guaranteed to be one to two elite packs. So you want to finish off anything you find in here. Head outside to the front of Leorx Manor and work your way outside. So this is the courtyard area coming up. You want to have a look around here because there is guaranteed one elite pack always in this area. Um, so once you're finished that, I'd recommend actually looking around the area, finishing off the courtyard, because there can there's a pretty high chance of two elite packs uh, being in this zone. If there's not, town portal back and we'll we'll head to the next waypoint. So you can see there's not here, so I just town portal back. Okay, the next area you want to head to is the Cemetery of the Forsaken. This is a very nice farming area once you have your five stacks. So you want to head in, uh, look around the actual cemetery before you start heading in into the Filed Crypts because uh, there's a rare pack that can spawn here and it, from my experience it spawns about 50% of the time, if not more. It's usually there. So once that's cleared, just start heading into the actual crypts themselves and you'll get lots and lots of yellows. Uh, the crypts actually have about, I'd say, two elite packs each. There's quite a few events inside as well. There's a Jar of Souls along with... Uh, another one where you kind of break three jars open and get loot so there's a lot in this area to actually get through so once you're done there we want to kind of finalize the run uh, we're gonna head over to the Halls of Agony level 2 work your way through here there's normally uh, one to two packs in Halls of Agony level 2 uh, I didn't actually find any this time I just ran through but there's normally about one to two uh, head over Highlands Passage over to the Cursed Hold where you're guaranteed at least two packs in this area uh, complete the quest and kill the warden. Yeah, that's his name. Uh, so you want to get a, the warden dead after that. He's uh, he's a boss, so they're guaranteed one yellow after 1.03, which is still nice. They usually drop two, so it's good. Head into the Halls of Agony level 3 and finish your run on the Butcher. Halls of Agony level 3 normally has two packs, if you look around. Uh, once again, Butcher's a boss, so you guaranteed get one yellow. Um... I think I normally get from my my experience I normally get about two yellows from bosses uh, so yeah it's not too bad I mean there's lots of elite packs in between so it's good to do as you can see that's all the loot I got in uh, in this run showing you guys 
So if you have the cow level unlocked, even if you don't, head over to the old ruins next. Um, there's a little cellar which can spawn here. It's not in this run. But that can have a, a treasure goblin inside. It spawns right there. So go past that if you have the Wurt's leg. Or the, sorry, not Wurt's leg. The, <laughs> that's Diablo 2. If you have the, the Cow King staff or whatever it's called. And work your way through the pony level. The pony level, don't go here unless you have five stacks. Because the loot is a lot higher than the rest of Act 1. But the mobs are a lot harder. So if you're a... Uh, if you're not, if you're struggling with Act One, getting ready for Acts Two and Three, I wouldn't recommend actually going through the pony level. So that about covers it for for Act One. We're gonna start in Act Two. I'm just gonna show you a few more of these fat loot drops. Okay, time for Act Two. You want to start at Quest Eight. It's called the Black Soul Stone, and you want to go to the Realm of Shadow. Uh, this is kind of the two boss run mixed in with uh, quite a few elite packs. Uh, so we're gonna want to go to the Dalgir Oasis first. Uh, generally, in this area, you find about two to six elite packs. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really like Farming Act 2 that much. I, f I find Farming Act 1 uh, quite a bit better um, in terms of... Because you know where all the packs are going to be in Act 1. In Act 2, it can take a while to find groups sometimes. So it's kind of a pain in the bum. Um, that's why the Act 2 section is going to be a bit shorter than the Act 1. It's just... Uh, Act 2, just in general, isn't as good as Act 1, especially now with the change where a 60, 61 plus loot can drop in Act 1. Act 1 is much more efficient. So, uh, when you're going around the Delgir Oasis, if you find any caves, the Ancient Cave especially, go in. There's normally uh, one one pack on the first floor, one pack on the second, and uh, Resplendent Chests. Um, I'm pretty sure the Resplendent Chest is guaranteed on the bottom, along with the one pack. So, uh, that's definitely something you want to look for. Um, it's not in every spawn, though. So I think there's another cave which spawns, but... Uh, I'd recommend going in all the caves, pretty much. Okay, the next uh, waypoint you want to go to is the Road to Alcurnus. Uh, this is guaranteed about one to three elite packs up past the bridge um, in this little city-type area. Uh, you get a rare spawn here, but I'm pretty sure rare yellow name mobs now, uh, on their own, don't um, drop blues anymore, so it's kind of... They're almost pointless to kill, I find. So yeah, uh, this is one to three packs, guaranteed, so go through there really quick. Um, doesn't take too long, really easy groups as well. When you're done that, you're going to Town Portal back, and we're going to hit up the archives of Zoltan Cool. This is where there's quite a few elite packs. Um, you get three different areas, I'm pretty sure. it's. Uh, they're called the Unknown Depths, Realm of Shadows, and the Storm Halls. They're all in this uh, Terminus area, so I'll show them all. One there, and then there's just the two are immediately next to it. So they're all really bunched up areas, and each one has about two to three... Um, elite packs in it so the whole area has about uh, six to nine when you're done farming those out you can go to the soulstone chamber and just quickly kill the boss he's uh he's pretty easy on most classes so i mean i wouldn't wouldn't worry too much about him uh when you're done killing zoltan cool uh you pretty much just go ahead and kill the last boss right after like i was saying with act two um it it's generally not as good as Act 1. I mean, me and my friend have tested it. We both farmed Act 1 and 2 at the same time for about four hours, killing things at the same pace, and I made, like, triple the gold or something, because uh, Act 2 is just generally the mobs are a lot harder than Act 1, and the loot's almost the same, so it's, uh, I'd recommend farming Act 1. I mean, unless you like Act 2, but it's uh, it's up to you. Uh, there's two more areas I just showed there. Um, one was the uh, Black Canyon Mines, and the other one was the Karim Outpost. They're both decent for farming. Um... Both have about two to three elite packs, so, but you don't know where they're going to be, so you have to kind of search for them. But yeah, once you're done Zoltan Cool, uh, head on over to the city, and we're just going to go fight the, the last boss in the area. There's an elite pack on the way to him, and when you get to him himself, he drops uh, Guaranteed Yellow as well. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, if it's good for every class to kill him, because I know he can give some classes a... Take a while, or just give him a few problems. For a wizard, it's not too hard, as I'm showing you, so... So yeah, that's about it for the Act 2 path. It's uh, it's not as long as the Act 1, um, but it's Act 2 is a bit more random than Act 1, so it's harder to to specifically show you the exact spots where to go. Um, it's just generally not as good, in my opinion, but it's up to you guys. If you like it, go for it. So yeah, once you've done all the Elite Packs, just head up to the last boss. He's, uh, he's a piece of cake for most classes, so it's pretty much just free loot. Okay, so let's get into Act 3. This is by far my favorite act for farming. Uh, we're going to start on the Heart of Sin, 
and we're going to kill Asmodan. So quest 7, kill Asmodan. You can choose the other quest to kill the spider boss, but I'm not having much luck with her after the patch, after the little spiders can one-shot you from like a mile away. So I'm not doing that, but it's up to you. You can start from there if you want. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the stronghold, and we're going to head outside the main gate. Um, this will lead us to one of the, the better farming spots in the, the area. So go through Variate Gate, um, and then follow that all the way down. Uh, to the it's either going to be the fortified bunker or the barracks so we'll see what it is this time we're going to go down uh, if it's the barracks you want to restart your game until you get the fortified bunker the the actual barracks itself only has like two elite packs and it no resplendent chest so let's see what we got here and we got the barracks so we'll restart the game really quick and uh, we'll get the fortified bunker Okay, so once you actually get the fortified bunker, go inside. Uh, there's two levels to the entire place. Um, the first level this is a really good spot in Act 3. The first level contains about anywhere from three to five packs of elites, which is uh, amazing. They're all pretty easy mob types as well. There's co there's a few which might give you a few problems. Uh, there's like this big guy I'm fighting now. They can be annoying for casters because they run like 500% when they're elite for some reason. I think it's just because they'd be too easy otherwise. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's everything else down here is pretty easy. Um, nothing will give you much of a challenge, so it's it's a nice, like, easy spot to get stacks really quickly. Uh, the second level of the place has um, a guaranteed resplendent chest, which is uh, it's always there every single time. Well, at least I, that I've seen it. So uh, so this place is uh, really good to get for getting your your stacks up right away. So there's the resplendent. It's uh, always there. It's not too bad. Um, once you're done here, I think we're going to be heading over to Stone Fort. Uh, always clear this. The, once you're done the Resplendent in the uh, in the Fortified Bunker level two, you're going to want to um, clear the rest of the place because there's two elite packs down here most of the time, or at least one. So we'll uh, we'll town portal and head over to the waypoint. Uh, the next place we're going to hit up is Stone Fort. This is um, this place has quite a few elite packs, anywhere from I think three to four. Um, it, uh, two to four, I'd say actually. Sometimes you get a bit unlucky, but it's I go here because the mobs are really, really easy for every single class to do. Um, there's only like little guys that you have to fight. Uh, the the birds that kite you. It's all really simple stuff. So two to four stacks easily here. It doesn't take long. It takes about 15 minutes to clear through the entire thing. Maybe 10, depending on uh, your gear or whatever. Okay, so once you're done in Stonefort, you're going to want to take the waypoint down to Tower of Accursed level 1. Uh, this is where you will pick up, I think, around, I'd say about 2 to 3 packs on level 1 itself. Um, they're all quite easy mobs to kill as well. You get uh, you get the spearmen, you get the bigger goats, and you get the, the goats that cast. So it's a lot of goats, apparently. Um, they're all pretty easy. Easy stacks down here. There's a lot of cliffing you can do, shooting off the sides of the edges. I'm not sure how much this has changed since the patch with the new uh, um, pathing, but I'll have a look in a bit. So once you're done Tower of a Curse level 1, head down to number 2, clear that, and then head down to the Spider Queen if you've selected her as your quest. I don't select her as a caster now because they changed a mechanic on the little spiders where uh, they more or less just melee you the second they spawn. Um, and since I'm glass cannon, they one-shot me, so it's not worth my time. That's why I chose Asmodan to finalize the, the actual quest. So once you're done this, you're going to head down to Rackus Crossing, where you will find one elite pack, at least. Uh, if you go up top, you find one, or if you go south from the waypoint, you might find one. The main reason I go down here is because there's an area up top uh, where you find uh, Resplendent Chest. It's uh, it's not guaranteed, and it's not even guaranteed to be there, but when it is, there's an elite pack always inside, and as well as that, there's a chance there's a resplendent chest, so it's always worth to have a look, just in case. Okay, so the next area you want to head to is the Core of Ariats, where you will find about one to two elite packs guaranteed, all pretty easy. Uh, it's once in a while you'll get the phase beasts, and they can be a pain in the ass, but other than that, two easy elite packs, followed by Asmodan, who is... Uh, who's a joke of a boss for most classes. I am I recommend doing the bosses at the end of runs just because you are guaranteed rares off them and if you find them easy it's pointless not to do them because you it, it's kind of like an elite pack that you know is going to be there. It's 
it's worth going to. So I definitely recommend finishing, finishing up your, your run with Asmodan, unless he's hard for you. I mean, he can be challenging for some classes, I suppose, depending on gear, playstyle, etc. So, okay, guys, let's get into Act 4. This won't be as detailed at all as the other uh, three acts, mainly because it, it isn't a detailed act. It's the shortest act in the game by a long shot. Uh, I literally more or less just kind of normally I just start the act from scratch uh, but also what you can do is just choose the quest primeval uh, straight to Diablo and then I normally go from Garden of Hope tier 1 I clear tier 1 tier 2 and then I go down the list on my waypoints all the way up to Diablo uh, it works out about Garden of Hope tier 1 has about uh, 2 to 3 stacks Garden of Hope tier 2 has the same everything else is about 2 to 3 stacks as well so all of that run from Garden of Hope down on your waypoint list will get you around, uh, I'd say about 10 stacks. Not the most, but Act 4 has some pretty good loot, so if you can do it, do it. Um, I, I personally prefer Act 3 farming, so you get like 20 elite packs in each run, and it's a bit more enjoyable on my, my wizard. So that's about it for the, the actual guide, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it and it was helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you didn't enjoy it, I'm sorry. It's, uh, if it wasn't your cup of tea, but yeah. i got more guides coming out. Next guide coming out will be my wizard guide. Uh, it'll have Act 1 through 4, unlike my monk guide, which is separated in two separate parts, mainly because the play style on wizards is the same through Act 1 through 4, is what I found. Other than that, I also have a Demon Hunter, Barbarian, and Witch Doctor guides incoming. My the Demon Hunter guide should be being done by my good friend Paradox. He will be commentating and creating the video and putting it on the TryHard channel as he's... Uh, part of my team here so he'll get that one up i'm going to do the barbarian and witch doctor guides most likely so that's something to look forward to they should be up in the next two to three weeks uh as well as more guides i'm gonna i'll post some more comments and things some more ideas that i have other than that our live streams going uh something to watch out for i'll put the the link in the comment section below it's not my point of view it's my friend but we're always playing together so i'll be there commentating and talking to you guys so if you have any questions or anything you can hit me up on there um, thanks for all the support, by the way, for the rest of the videos. Channel's doing really well. Uh, lots and lots more videos to come out, so keep an eye out for it. Um, I'm going to let you guys go, so I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.